My fellow Zambians, I want to address this message to the President of this country, His Excellency, Mr. Haga Indeichilema. A bit of education. Mr. President, the concept of democracy is as important as the scriptures and as modern as our own constitution in this country. Democracy is anchored on the pillars of the rule of law, good governance, moral justice, economic justice, and legal justice. Democracy was developed a long time ago as a reaction against autocratic dictators in historical times. Leadership, Mr. President, is a verb. It is a doing word. Nothing happens politically without leadership. Nothing changes without leadership. Nothing develops without someone taking leadership. Nothing improves in life without a leader having to come up with an idea to correct that which is wrong. I understand that you were mistreated. I understand that you felt abused during the time that you were in the opposition. I understand that you felt, you know, as the word would say, legally marginalized by the PF. But that does not give you the right, Mr. President, to start repeating the same things against the sixth Republican president of this country, Mr. Edgar Chagolungu. It is not correct. Morally, it is wrong. Legally, it is not justified. Having the police to follow Mr. Edgar Chagolungu all over the country is wasting government resources, time, and valuable service and manpower. This is not democracy. You had better watch out because in the process, you are going to start diminishing the democratic space in this country at a faster pace than the PF did. Fellow Zambians, let's keep our eyes open. In 2026, our freedom of speech will be on the ballot. Our freedom of association will be on the ballot. Our freedom of movement will be on the ballot. The right to privacy will be on the ballot. The right to own property will be on the ballot. And the right to self-defense will also be on the ballot. The UPND has no right to start doing what they're doing and breaking the law. I hope this message gets across to the president. Somewhere I read that when a lot, if not the majority of the people, keep quiet when something is going wrong, it will be seen as if it is right, it is legal, and those who perpetuate such wrong activities will think they can continue without people voicing out. As Zambia must prosper, we want to put it on record. We are not happy with the direction that the UPND is taking this country. We are not happy with the kind of leadership that our president, Aga Inde Ichilema, is exhibiting. Personal vindata, personal hatred, personal revenge, whilst using government institutions, cannot go without comment. We in Zambia Must Prosper have also listened to some of the youths from the UPND. And they are saying that the sixth Republican president, Mr. Edgar Chagalungu, has no right to walk the streets of Zambia, the streets of Lusaka, without being stopped. What nonsense is this? We shall not keep quiet. We have taken enough from the UPND. And we in Zambia must prosper want to defend and protect democracy. We shall not keep quiet anymore. If it means that we start litigating and going to court to protect the rights of the Zambian citizens, that we shall do. Ed Gachagolungu is a free citizen of this country. He is free to talk. He is free to associate. He is free to move. He is free to have his own opinions about things that he sees right or wrong. 
So, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, please understand what leadership is required of you in protecting and defending our constitutional rights as citizens. And as Commander-in-Chief, I urge you to instruct the police not to block the movements of citizens simply because you don't like them or simply because you were stopped to move at the time that you were in the opposition. That is not social justice. And that's not the way we expect you to lead us. Set an example. Be the bigger person. Show leadership. My name is Kelvin Fobe Wadia. And I am the president of Zambia Must Prosper. And I thank you.